Mr. Gunnell. Tell me about the market in a college town. What would make the market different in college town is we have homes that are bought usually by parents for their children who are students at Eastern. That's probably the biggest difference. Um, we see that in a cycle. I would say now we're kind of in a down cycle on, on seeing families buying homes for their kids to go to school. Um, it's hard to say when it would have peaked, but I would say probably 20 years ago we were seeing that quite a bit where, where families were buying homes for their, for their kids to live in and uh, maybe rent out a couple rooms you know, to roommates to help pay the mortgage, which is really a, a very good financial idea. Um, I suppose the other difference would be we have a lot of faculty that, that would live here, so that would make a difference as well. Tell me about the biggest concerns buyers have living in a college town. They don't want to be in the party areas. Um, most, most families and most faculty that are moving to town, uh, they tell me, don't show us anything near the students. So, unfortunately, that is that perception has become reality that they don't want to live near the students. They don't want to deal with partying on the weekend and noise and, and uh, trouble uh, from the kids. So, again, that's a perception that has become a reality. What are your biggest complaints about a market in a college town? Well, I don't really think that I have any complaints about that. I suppose you could say that there are some areas of town that have that's become student populated and the properties are maybe not being kept up so well. But I mean, that could happen for other reasons as well. That would probably be it. But otherwise, I'm very pro the university. So I, I love it that we have Eastern in, in this town. How do you feel about the quality of the neighborhoods here? Well, that's a very subjective question. Um, it would depend on the neighborhood because there are some neighborhoods are more well kept than others. I think there are probably economic reasons for that. Um, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm from Charleston, so it's my hometown. I, I love the whole town. How's that? <laughs> are there neighborhoods that are harder to sell than others? Why or why not? There are. Um, there, there again. There are perceptions of um, of buyers that you say, "Oh, I don't want to live past a certain street, or I don't want to live in a certain section of town." And uh, uh, fortunately, there are there are nice homes in all parts of town. So, I think that if I were wanting to buy a home, I think I would I would try to find a home. I think that would be probably more important than the location, but unfortunately a lot of people, they go by location and they want to live in certain areas. Tell me about the differences in buyers who choose to live near the college students and those who don't. Well, that's kind of a toughie because most of you don't want to live near the college kids. Every now and then you might find people that, that don't mind living with, you know, by the college kids because they kind of like that youthful exuberance of the college kids, uh, but that is kind of rare to find, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, I, so I hear you grew up in Charleston. Uh, tell me about the area then versus now and uh, how you feel about any changes or anything like that. It seems like there probably are more homes now that are owned by, by families for their kids. I, I don't remember that being um, much, of a, much of a situation back when I was growing up, it was more older people, like widows, would uh, who lived in large old homes on Sixth and Seventh Street or, or even Tenth Street, would would rent out a bedroom to a student. My grandmother did that back in the nineteen fifties. Uh, she kept she kept I think two or three boys in the upstairs of her house because it was a large house and she was there by herself. So that was more of what uh, what happened back in in the old days. Uh, I don't know that we see that so much anymore. Anything else you want to add? Save your money and buy real estate. <laughs> All right, thank you.